Securing your Windows 10 computer involves various commands and practices. Here are 10 most powerful security commands in Command Prompt. Type CMD in the search menu and run Command Prompt as an administrator. Windows Defend Commands Update Windows Defender Definitions Type C colon backslash program whitespace files backslash windows whitespace defender backslash mpcmdrun.exe signature update. This command is used to manually update the Windows Defender antivirus definitions on a Windows system. This is helpful in ensuring that your antivirus software has the latest information about known viruses, malware, and other threats. Start a quick scan. See colon backslash program whitespace files backslash windows whitespace defender backslash mpcmdrun.exe scan, scan type 1. The purpose of this command is to manually trigger a quick scan of your system for malware and other potential threats using Windows Defender. Quick scans are designed to swiftly check the most vulnerable areas of your system where malware commonly resides, providing a faster but less comprehensive scan compared to a full scan. 2. Firewall Commands Display Firewall Rules Type Netch Add Firewall Firewall Show Rule Name Equals All The purpose of this command is to provide a comprehensive list of all the firewall rules currently configured on your Windows system. Firewall rules define how traffic is allowed or blocked on your computer, helping to protect it from unauthorized access or malicious activities. By examining these rules, you can understand how your system is configured to handle incoming and outgoing network traffic. Disable firewall. Type Netch Add Firewall Set All Profiles State Off. The purpose of this command is to temporarily disable the Windows firewall. It might be necessary to disable the firewall for troubleshooting purposes or in specific network configurations. 3. User Account Commands Change User Password Type Net User Username Asterisk The purpose of this command is to change the password for a specified user account on a Windows system. It's important to note that you need administrative privileges to execute this command. Force Password Change at Next Logon Type net user username slash login password ching, yes. The purpose of this command is to enhance security by ensuring that the user changes their password upon the next logon. This is often done as a security measure, especially if there's a concern that the current password may be compromised or if it's a new user account that requires immediate password configuration. 4. Security Policy Commands Open Local Security Policy Type secpol.msc. The purpose of opening the local security policy is to manage security settings that affect the local computer. It provides a graphical user interface GUI, for configuring policies related to account policies, local policies, user rights assignments, and more. This tool is especially useful for administrators who need to fine-tune security settings to meet specific requirements or enhance the overall security of a Windows system. Force Group Policy Update Type Pupdate slash Force The purpose of this command is to ensure that any changes made to group policy settings are immediately applied to the computer without waiting for the regular background refresh interval. Group Policy is a feature in Windows that allows administrators to manage system settings, user settings, and security policies across a network. Running this command can be helpful when you want to apply new policies or changes immediately, such as after making modifications to group policy settings or deploying new policies. BitLocker commands. Enable BitLocker on drive C. Type manage BDE on C. 
The purpose of this command is to initiate the encryption process on the specified drive using BitLocker. BitLocker is a disk encryption program included with Windows that helps protect data on the drive by encrypting it. This encryption adds an additional layer of security, making it more challenging for unauthorized users to access sensitive data on the drive. Check BitLocker status. Type Manage BDE status. The purpose of this command is to retrieve information about the BitLocker status, including whether encryption is currently active, the percentage of encryption completion, the encryption method used, and other relevant details. Event Viewer Commands Open Event Viewer Type Event for .msc The purpose of opening the Event Viewer is to examine logs that record significant events happening on your computer. These events can include system errors, warnings, informational messages, and security-related events. Event Viewer is a valuable tool for troubleshooting system issues, monitoring system performance, and investigating security events. Clear security logs. Type with total CL security. The purpose of this command is to delete all events from the security log, which is one of the event logs in the Windows Event Viewer. The security log records security events such as logon and logoff events, account management, and other security-related activities. 7. Windows Update Commands. Check for Windows Updates. Type Wacolt slash detect now. The purpose of this command is to trigger an immediate check for updates rather than waiting for the next scheduled automatic update check. By running this command, you prompt the Windows Update client to search for available updates and report them to the Windows Update service. Install pending updates. Wacolt slash install now. The purpose of this command is to manually initiate the installation of pending Windows updates. It prompts the Windows Update client to start the installation process for any updates that have been downloaded and are ready to be installed. 8. PowerShell Execution Policy Set Execution Policy, Example, Remote Signed TYPR Set Execution Policy Remote Signed The purpose of this command is to change the execution policy setting to a specified level, in this case, remote signed. Adjusting the execution policy can enhance security by controlling the conditions under which PowerShell scripts are allowed to run on a system. 9. System File Checker, SFC. Run SFC Scan. Type SFC slash scan now. The system file checker will then scan and attempt to repair any corrupted system files it finds. This process may take some time, so please be patient. Once the scan is complete, follow any on-screen instructions, and restart your computer if prompted. 10. Network Security Commands. Show open ports. Type netstat n. This will provide you with a list of all active network connections, including information about the local and remote IP addresses, the state of the connection, and the open ports. Check ARP Table. Type ARP A. This will show you a list of IP addresses and their corresponding MAC addresses in the ARP cache. The ARP cache is used by your computer to quickly look up the MAC address associated with a given IP address on your local network. Ensure that you have the necessary permissions to execute these commands. Additionally, some commands may require elevated privileges, so run them as an administrator when necessary.